Hi there everybody and welcome to Miss Curtis's Bedtime Story. So you've made it to another Friday and this week's story I absolutely love. It's beautiful, it's got amazing illustrations so I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. It's called The Magic Paintbrush and it's written by one of our favourites, Julia Donaldson um, and it's illustrated by somebody called Joel Stewart. The Magic Paintbrush by Julia Donaldson. Go and catch some shrimps, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. Shen sits on the seashore. A stick is in her hand. She sits there drawing pictures. Pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish. She draws a boat at sea, a hen, a hare, a dancing dog, a weeping willow tree. The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. But on a rock, there sits a man, a brush in his hand. He looks around, he calls to Shen, Come here, he whispers, hush. We don't want all the world to know about this magic brush. He slips the brush into her hand and tells her to be sure. Never paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. Did you catch some shrimps, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimps, no fish, no oysters. Shen laughs and runs inside. She paints a pot, then stands and wait until the paint is dry. The paint dries on the paper. The painting of a pot is not a painting anymore, but real, a steaming and steaming hot. The pot is full of shrimps, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill the empty dish. The village people hear the news, into the house they crush. The young and old all want to see Shen and her magic brush. She paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman and for a girl a fan. And soon the news spreads far and wide and people stand in queues for blankets, boats and buffaloes, for hats and coats and shoes. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands until at last, inside Chen's house, the powerful empress stands. I order you to paint a tree and to make it very big Instead of leaves, paint golden coins and hundreds on each twig. She shakes her head. Your Majesty, I promised to be sure, never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. The Emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He bellows to his men. Seize the magic paint paintbrush and seize the girl called Shen. Now Shen sits in a prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there till the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint me my tree of golden coins and then you shall go free. She takes the brush and bowing low says, Gracious Majesty, come back here in the morning and you shall have your tree. That night, the emperor lies in bed and dreams about his tree, while Shen is busy painting a horse and then a key. The key turns in the prison door and Shen stands free outside. She climbs onto the horse's back and swiftly starts to ride. Where are my coins? The emperor shouts. Where is my golden tree? 
Where is my magic paintbrush, he cries. Who let the girl go free? He climbs on his fastest horse and rides with all his men. Over the fields and desert sands, they gallop after Shen. It's Shen, it's Shen, she's back again, the neighbours gather round. But Shen is painting silently, while distant hoof beats sound. She paints a mighty river, a deep and wide. The emperor and all his men stop on the other side. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He shakes his fist at Shen. I'll swim across your river and so will all my men. But Shen is busy painting a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open and flames curl from its jaws. My dragon needs a tail, said Shen, and then it will be real. Yes, then it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now, shall I paint that tail, she asks, or would you rather go? She dips her paintbrush in the pot. The emperor cries out, no! He turns his horse and rides away, away ride all his men. She takes the magic paintbrush and starts to paint again. She paints a mould of a mound of golden rice and cakes like moons and drums and flutes till all the streets ring out with merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes out and shines as bright as day, while Shen and all the other villages dance the night away. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as me and my dragon friend did. The illustrations are beautiful and it really tells a fantastic story of the magic you can create with a simple paintbrush. I hope you have a good night's sleep and I'll be back next week with another bedtime stories. Night night!